Hey, this is Demi and welcome back to my channel. We're not going to have a very good intro for quite a while. I'm still going to think about it of what the intro is going to be with the Purpose and Profits channel. But hey, I am going to talk to you today about my very first speaking engagement experience, which was amazing. That happened last October 11, 2018, last Thursday as I'm speaking today. I actually had a really good experience because I feel like public speaking is really my thing. Um, I've really wanted to become a public speaker ever since and ever since I was a kid I have had experiences in public speaking specifically when I was in high school started when I was in third year high school that I started speaking on sp stages becoming talk show hosts becoming everything that has a microphone on it so I have had my trainers uh, train me to become an, uh, an extemporaneous speaker and oratorical competitions and stuff like that debates so those are my things back when I was in high school there was only one time that I did it in college but that was also a contest and then today I'm getting back to the stages which is amazing it's an amazing experience i've always loved being able to express myself and if you happen to watch a few of my videos back then i've always said that i've always loved the feeling of being able to express myself and having people listening to me so that is like a void that i'm trying to fill <laughs> we're all like that and I'm going to tell you today what went well and what went wrong, okay? So there are a couple of things. I think what went well really was that I was able to speak in front of 40, 50 students and I was really able to impact their lives somehow. I could really see their heads nodding and I could really see that they understood me. And after the speaking engagement, a couple of students actually asked me if they could take a picture with me, which was weird but amazing that means they really want to create a memory out from it so that means i have inspired 50 students that day which is amazing and what what i told them is basically the same thing that i have been telling you here in my channel to go after the life you love to to do the things that you are very passionate about make a profit out from it if you don't want to be a teacher because they are education students i told them that if you don't want to be a teacher go find something else that you would really be passionate about instead of resisting going to work every monday which is amazing and they have completely understood what i said now right now i have another one scheduled on february which is going to be in clark pampanga that is north of the philippines and i will be teaching there for a couple of universities for like a week or three days at least so it's going to be a very huge project i have a person who is working there organizing the whole thing um, she is going to gather a lot of people and i'm very 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 happy because she has been inspired with what i have been doing ever since i started the business we have been friends since i started the online business and she has been an amazing friend um, she's actually older than me and she has kids. She is also a writer She has been an amazing person and she has supported me ever since and that's why she said sure I'm going to gather people around you. She has a lot of connections and we are actually expecting to Speak to at least three universities in February so that is one of the things that I really am looking forward to and if you are ever interested with public speaking and speaking engagements like this, make sure you start honing your skills now before you actually go to the stage because it's completely different when you are in the camera and when you are on stage, right? And I think I just um, um, already used to it because I have been in the stages for a long time. But for those people who, who are not very used to it, you have to start honing your skills now. And how? Just merely creating YouTube videos or doing Facebook Lives or whatever you're comfortable with because you know that there are people out there looking at you behind this camera, right? So that is um, people's way of giving you feedback. What is it that you need to improve on? Is it your enthusiasm? Is it your grammar? Is it your enunciation, your pronunciation, your diction or whatever? So at least you're putting your content out there trying to hone your skills little by little so that by the time that you are going to speak on stage you have the ability already to not be nervous not to shake holding the microphone etc so you might want to start now and once i have my speaking engagements i will tell you what worked what did not so that you would also have an idea what could be the possible things that you want to 
um, you want to also inculcate in your speaking engagements, right? So I think what did not go well was that I was holding a microphone with the wire because I was speaking in a school that doesn't have 100% really good facilities. They are like in a low class type of school and it's it's very common here in the Philippines to have colleges with very low tuition fees just so they could teach the uh, children and so that the other children could just finish college so that's their thing they just want a lot of people a lot of students in and I think that was one of the problem I did not have a projector screen I only had the 32 inch TV which was a little bit difficult for the people who are at the back of the stage so yeah just the facilities i think and i am already planning to buy my very own lapel mic so that um, i could take videos of myself put it here on youtube and then you could also see what i did well what i did not do well and you would also have the information that i've been sharing to those people who are in the public speaking event or the speaking engagement right so yeah i'm planning to buy a lapel i have to make sure that it's of high quality because i want to make sure that not only am i speaking on the lapel but i'm also recording the voice so that i can sync in the video and the the audio recorded in the lapel so that's my target and i actually wanted to speak to more people um, I don't want to limit myself in a class size room because the last time, back in October 11th, there was only 50 students and I'm pretty used to that kind of size. Not that I'm bragging or anything. I just really want to challenge myself because I've the, the biggest audience that I've ever been is 150 people. And I want to try that kind of size just so to, to know exactly if I could really go to that level because I want to affect and want to inspire more people and that's the main thing here so if I could get a lot of me a lot more people in then that'd be great right so I really am looking forward to the February event because then they're gonna have a lot more people and there's going to be a couple of more, more of couple of universities is going to come in so looking forward to that and that's it for today if you like this video make sure you click the subscribe button if you haven't yet, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.